So you have installed Genesis POS in your store perfectly. The server and the terminals are in perfect sync and you are happy about the way it seems to be functioning in sync. But what if you have to update Genesis POS? All the terminals would have to run a standalone update in their system, which would be time consuming. And what if the software at the terminal gets corrupted? This would mean installing the software all over again in the terminal, which could be again time consuming. We need a simple solution that installs the POS terminals and updates it faster. A solution that would result in lesser software corruption issues in the terminals. Well, Genesis has come up with a solution to avoid such problems. Using the share mode option to run the terminals would help us to avoid these problems. In this tutorial, we would see how we could use the terminal in the shared mode. We would install the POS software in the server and create a shortcut in the terminal through which the terminals would be accessing the software. Let's take a look at the steps needed to make the terminals run in a shared mode. Now to do so, we have divided the steps into two sets. Steps to be run in the POS server and steps to be run in the POS terminal. Let's start with steps to be run in the POS server. First, we locate the Genesis POS folder which contains the installed software. Once you find it, right click the folder and select properties. The properties window opens up. Click the sharing tab. Under the sharing tab, click the advanced sharing button. The advanced sharing window opens up. Check the share this folder checkbox and click the permission button. The permission window opens up. Now it is very important that we only allow the read option for the shared folder. We do this so that all the terminals would only be able to read the contents of the shared folder and not make any changes to it. So those were the steps to be carried out in the POS server. Now let's look at the steps to be performed at the terminals. We would first locate the server and get it mapped to the terminal. For that, you would have to access the server through the Windows Explorer. Among the shared folders, you would find the Genesis POS folder. Right click the folder. Select the Map Network Drive option. A window opens up. Select one of the virtual drives available and click Finish. In the Windows Explorer, a new drive would appear in the computer. Double click it and open the drive. Open the GSL folder and locate the NPOS application. Right click the application and select the option. Send to desktop. A shortcut would be created on the desktop. Finally, double click the end pause application shortcut on the desktop and check if the pause login dialog box opens up. Great! Now you are ready to use the terminal in the shared mode by sharing the Genesis pause folder. In the POS server with the terminals. Please note in our future update, which is the Genesis POS version 1.37.0, all the terminals would be accessed only through the shared mode option. Well, that wraps up our tutorial, and we've taken care of both the problems installing and updating the terminals. Now, you don't have to update or install the terminals as it's done in the POS server itself which is shared with the terminals. To get the latest updates and to know more about Genesis, 
subscribe to our channel. Thank you.